All right, good. Hey guys, it's you two here, and I'm back with another video. And this is Ruby, Volume 5, Chapter 3, Unforeseen Complications. Before we start this, I just have to say that my Volume 2 reaction got blocked again, almost instantly. I don't get it. I hate it. Um, but yeah, gotta say, Volume 2, or Episode 2, Chapter 2, Jesus. Chapter 2 was really, really good. I really liked Weiss's fight scene. Adam was savage as ever, and I I loved, loved, loved what they did with Hazel. Like, oh, Hazel was so good. And then, uh, freaking Sienna Khan. Uh... She was so good. I loved me. I, I love that Monica Rial did her voice. Her design was awesome, and there, there was so much more that they could have done with that character. And I am honestly sad that they had Adam just take her out like that. I mean, it kind of makes sense why he would do something like that. Uh, because you know, with her being alive, things could get worse for him or whatever. But still, I don't know. I just wish there was a fight scene or that she fought back. I hope there's some explanation to it. To like, if she had aura. Um, if she could fight, if she had a semblance. Anything like that. Like, you know. I just kind of hope that she wasn't prepared. And it just kind of happened suddenly. Uh... You know, I just want her to be a badass. It'd be kind of silly to have a weak person as, you know, the ruler of the White Fang. The leader of the White Fang. Uh, anyways, though, it looks like we're going to get... Oh. Oh. Sorry about that, guys. It looks like we're going to take a look into Blake's family, because we saw Gira, Belladonna, in the thumbnail. And, uh, again, there was a, there's a pollen, or not pollen, what am I talking about? Lint. Uh, but anyways, this, chapter three is called Unforeseen Complications. So I'm really looking forward to this. Um, everything's good? Yeah? All right, looks like it. And, all right, cool. Always want to make sure that stuff is working before you start watching an episode. Because if things aren't, then you might be stuck having to do a non-blind reaction. It happened to me. It happened to me. Anyways, here we go. Uh, unforeseen complications. Oh. oh, sorry. This is a very interesting title. Maybe the Belladonna family will hear, hear of uh, Sienna Khan's um, disappearance. Maybe. Um, I wonder if... Because they said that they were going to go public with it last episode. I wonder if they're going to go public and maybe something will go wrong. I don't know. That's, that could be an unforeseen complication. Um you know, I'm not sure what else that could be referring to, but I guess we'll see. Also, this thing is 18 minutes long. Still a pretty good length. I have noticed it's going, uh, it's getting shorter and shorter as we progress. Sadly, I feel like that's going to be the case. I, I feel like next week might be a, a 16 to a 15 minute episode, and the week after that might be a 12 minute episode. Oh man, it's been so good having these longer episodes. <sighs> feels like an anime, like a legit anime, with the amount of content they're giving us. So, anyways, this is still pretty good, though, 18 minutes. Let's do this, shall we? In three, two, one, click. And then, here's the intro. I really need to listen to this more. I haven't gotten around to listening to a lot of it. Back to the show, back to the wall, and there's nowhere to go. 
But of course, people know that my scene's pretty, pretty ass, pretty bad. I love Casey's voice in this. It's good to know about all that with the Seer Grimm. I'm glad they got an update. I don't know, I don't have too much to say. It's a really good intro, I'm really liking it. It's definitely up there now, for me. For me, it goes volume 2, volume 1, and then perhaps this, volume 4 and volume 3. Just in terms of the uh, the part that we hear in the show, you know, a slight snippet, I'm pretty sure that is how it ranks for me. And yep, as I thought, we're seeing them. Uh, so I hear people outside, so I'm assuming he's preparing or he's about to go out. Um, I think people aren't going to like what he has to say. <sighs> Oh, yeah, he's wearing his glasses. Interesting. Are you ready? Yes. It won't be easy for the people to hear, but the truth often isn't. Nope. I know they'll do the right thing. <clears throat> you got this. <laughs> oh, God, son. Wow. Huh? He didn't say anything. Well, he respected it. He was like, yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. And yeah, of course, son's gonna stay back. Oh, I... So there's reporters on Faunus, perhaps? Thank you all for a seminar. Probably. I don't know. I wanted to take so I guess time we're getting to address speech. some of the rumors that have been circulating around our island. Okay. I believe that it is important for the people of this territory to understand the truth. No matter how you feel about the human race, I think we can all agree God. that the event now known as the fall of Von Hohenheim. Was <laughs> I, I love the guy the that, that does hear his voice. man and Faunus kind back. While the main aggressor is still unknown, we do have official confirmation that Adam Tarkus, I'm pretty sure that's the same guy. The leader of a powerful splinter group working inside the White Fang was yep. partially responsible for these attacks. His actions not only tarnished the reputation of an organization originally created to bring peace and equality to all, but to our entire race. With each day that this man remains unpunished, it becomes he increasingly difficult to condemn those that look down upon us. Recently, a spy from this same splinter group set their sights on this very home. My own daughter, Blake, and her friend did their very best to apprehend this individual. Yep. While they were Area. unsuccessful after being physically Feels assaulted bad. and seriously injured, they were successful in obtaining the assailant's scroll. Yep, that's true. They With did this, learn stuff. We have been able to ascertain that Adam Taurus has plans to overthrow the current leader of the White Fang. And Sienna I guess he Carl, did. And take over the reins himself. His yep. radical plans do not the stop there. The people are taking it well. The documents on this scroll proclaim his next target to be Haven Academy and its attached CCT tower. Their plan is to strike on the last full moon before the beginning of the fall semester. Roughly two oh. months from today. Two months. I have sent my swiftest messenger to the government of Mistral. But I believe we have a greater responsibility. My Finally, some timeline. My has been an interesting one. Years yep. ago, I led the organization to help try and create a world where I and every Faunus who wished could walk alongside the human race. And while I believe we made great strides this toward is crazy. This school, this is good it stuff. was made clear to me really that the people it. both in and out of the <clears throat> thing wanted I'm trying. Assaults, so I stepped down 
and mm. Sienna Khan was appointed as my successor. Ah, okay. That makes sense. It's true Good to know. I do not fully condone many of her methods. Yep. What I do condone is what Sienna fights for. Nice. The idea that the faunas and humans are and should be equal. <clears throat> Adam Taurus does not seem to have that goal. Nope. Mind. Nope. What he has done. He definitely thinks the faunus is himself. more than the humans. He said it himself. I think it's time he wants to make the human the slaves to faunus. That we are equals. Time that we snuff out this splinter group and restore the White Fang to what it once was. Ah, uh, they're. Are they for it? Yeah? Huh. To do this, okay. I think the answer is clear. We must go to Haven and protect it at all costs. Nice. Good job. Good job, Gira. <clears throat> Before we proceed any further, I'd like to invite my daughter to come and share her story. Not only as a former member oh, of the Oh, does she family, know? Or does she know about as this? A survivor of the fall of Beacon. Can do this. Traitors! Oh. Is that Ilya? Yep, it's Ilya. Oh boy. Ilya. Oh Power. gosh. After everything the humans have done to us, everything they've put us through. Man, you can really hear Lucy. To help them? In her I voice. We haven't been treated fairly. Where was their help when the dust companies treated our people so. like slaves? Where was their help Either when kingdoms hunted fawnies just gonna be for persuaded, being who they are? Or she's Where not. Where was my help when my parents were killed in a dust mine? Where? Young lady, progress takes patience and cooperation. <clears throat> the Belladonnas are the worst kind of fawnies. They want us to work with the same people that are trying to hold us down. Damn. If you truly, truly want to help your people, now is the time to oh, support... Is... Adam, oh, what is son going to do? Adonis. Holy shit. He will bring about the future that you deserve. And if you are unwilling to fight, know that the White Fang will do it for you. Shut up! What? After her! <laughs> oh, did she leave? I guess she ran. She wasn't able to finish. And what are they going to do? This is so interesting. Reach backwards? He's possessed. Oh. Or reincarnated. Oh, isn't it weird? <laughs> oh my god. It is very weird, yes. Uh, yep. Okay, okay. Nice to see more of this. Let's all just take a second. That's a nice remember painting. Remember that this is very overwhelming for everyone. Yep. <laughs> Thanks. Nice. <laughs> uh, sorry. It's just, I've never really met huntsmen and huntresses before. Weird. Well, uh, we've that was never really met a person with two souls. So, first time's all around. There's a book about a person with two souls. <laughs> you should probably read it. <clears throat> Not to break up the whole getting to know you game, but we need to have a talk. <clears throat> Mind showing us your little parlor trick, kid? <laughs> oh, God. What? Uh, yeah. Parlor trick? Okay. What? Just so you know, I'll still be here. What? What the hell? It is so very good to see you. Oh my god! Wait, what just happened? Professor Ospin? Correct. And though I may be the one speaking, Oscar is still <laughs> present, man. He's merely handed over the controls, so to speak. Just don't make us do anything. The, ch the change in the I'm voice. I'm afraid the soul must be very. The important. change in the voice is hilarious. And oh my god. That's amazing, though. He has a way to talk to them. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's yes. Good to see you children still have your sense of humor. <laughs> That's weird. That is so weird. You've all been through tremendous hardship already. I'm sorry. I mean, <coughs> it's not your fault. It's all my fault. Oh? 
Oh, I'm really curious. Let's go. I told you once that I made more mistakes than any man, woman, and child on this planet. Yep. For the job, the job at the end of Volume Two. Or near the end. Cursed. Cursed. For thousands of years, I have walked the surface of Remnant, living, dying, and reincarnating in the body of a life. This is amazing. The Professor Ospin you all met was not my firstborn, and clearly wasn't my last. <laughs> It's an extraordinarily strenuous process on everyone involved. <coughs> so who, what are you? I am the combination of countless men who have spent their lives trying to protect the people of Remnant. Okay. With every rebirth, my soul is eventually merged with another. And I am changed. <coughs> but my, my memories, memories stay with me. <coughs> This curse was bestowed upon me by the gods. Really? To stop Salem in the past. Oh my God! But we yes. Must stop her now. <coughs> I got something in my throat, and I don't have water. And how do we do that? <coughs> we start by ensuring the safety of the relic of knowledge. <coughs> oh my God! We're getting stuff with. <coughs> Stuff with, <coughs> stuff with Raven, and and or just Weiss. Well, well, well. <coughs> Look who's awake. <coughs> uh, why does this have to start now? Tickle in the back what? of my throat. What's going on? Where am I? You know, I never thought I'd see oh! me in this. Oh! Oh! Holy crap! I didn't think we'd see her so soon. That is her. That is the Spring Maiden. <clears throat> and she has her bleed. What do you want? Straight to the point. I like it. We don't normally deal in trafficking people. Not really worth our time. <coughs> what? But once we realized we had a schnee, that changed. What are we planning on doing? Ransom me back to my father. Oh, is, is that, that is that how we're going? It's a shame you're a schnee. You'd probably do quite well around here. Wow. I would never sink to your level. Damn. Just keep quiet and cooperate, and you'll be back in your mansion before you know it. She's not, because she doesn't want to go back. Don't make this complicated. Oh, she is. She definitely is gonna What's try. Going to make this complicated <coughs> is when my sister finds out that I didn't make it to Mistral. Ooh, so her sister knows. You know my sister, don't you? Winter Schnee, special operative of the Atlas military. She's in Mistral now, and when she hears I'm missing, you probably shouldn't tell her that. And you. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> why did you why did you say that wise? That's what really not funny? good. <laughs> oh, I don't know if it's more funny or sad. What? But you're clearly out of the loop. What? Your sister isn't in Mistral anymore. What? No Atlas personnel are in Mistral anymore. How? Why? General Ironwood closed the borders and recalled all of his little yeah. troops and tin cans. No one is coming to rescue you. <laughs> I don't know. I I think that's just what they want you to think. I don't know. This is perfect. Oh God, Nora. We were stuck at a dead end, but now we can just take little cute boy Osborne to Lionheart and have him sing strings. <laughs> what the hell? Please don't call me that. Yeah, we're not sure that's the best idea. Uh. Hmm. But. I thought the headmasters all took their orders from you. That was the intention. Yeah. For lieutenants I can trust, especially during times of reincarnation. But Crow told me about your meeting with Leonardo. Mmm. He isn't. He knows just something is rational. Yeah. He's disobeying specific instructions I had left. Oh. Him. Something's wrong. I don't want to jump to conclusions. But he knows he's working with Salem. <laughs> Yep. No one outside of this room knows that I've paired with Oscar. 
and I think it may be best to keep it that way. Ah. Things close to the chest until we got a better hand. Precisely. <clears throat> now we have two <clears throat> steps ahead of us. The first is enlisting the aid of more huntsmen. Okay. But the Mistral Council doesn't own every huntsman in the ah, kingdom. Ah, true. And I've been here enough times to know where we can find some more. Okay. As long as they're trustworthy. <laughs> you can trust them to put up a good fight. No. Yeah. I'll throw together a list tonight. <laughs> good luck with that. <laughs> Damn. After that, we can move on to step two. What's step two? Getting you four into fighting shape. Oh. Really? But uh, we already know how to fight. You can only fight so long as you have Crescent Rose. Yes. In hand -to -hand yes, that is awesome. That is well, so good. Uh, yeah. Mr. Perfect. I'm glad to hear you've improved, but sorry to say you've yet to unlock your symbols. Yes, they're bringing that up too. Amazing. All of you still have a ways to go before oh. you're ready to pose any yes. real threat against so good. our forces. And though Oscar can give me temporary control, he'll need to strengthen his body and his aura. <clears throat> Wait, what? Uh. I'll merit my muscle memory and time, but practice will expedite the process. But if Crow's out looking for huntsmen, then who's going to teach us? Of course, he is. Well, I believe I was the headmaster of Beacon Academy. Yep. Yep. We have approximately one month <laughs> before classes resume at Haven. Okay, so one month. An attack, it would make sense that it occur prior to students' return. Makes sense. It's not much time, but it's better than nothing. Okay, good. Good to know. Just don't expect me to go easy on you. Huh? <laughs> and there he goes. Yep. There we go. <laughs> okay. Mirror, mirror. Nice to hear. That is awesome that she can actually control the size of it. Like, holy crap. Oh, it's already over. That, oh, that went by so fast. Jeez. Okay, hold on, hold on. Is it? Hmm. I'm assuming Vernal is the name of the Spring Maiden. Amber Lee Connors. Hmm. And then <clears throat> Saber, named by William Ball. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Okay, Vernal. Interesting. <laughs> Bandit 2. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> Interesting. <laughs> So, wow. That, that's pretty crazy. So, in this episode, we got, we got some, some crazy stuff with Weiss. So, we, we touched with, um, Weiss, Blake, and Ruby, but we didn't touch on Yang at all this time. So, I assume because of that next Next episode might focus on Yang more. Probably. I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, probably Weiss and Yang because Yang uh, did that. But anyways, Blake's stuff took a month. It seems like this is taking, uh, Blake's stuff is taking place a month before, <clears throat> before Ruby's stuff. 
and that's that's what it seems like now. Um, just the the phrasing. So he was two months. Uh, Gira did. He was two months. Uh, in Blake stuff, and then Oscar slash Osmond said one month for his dealio. But yeah, um, this stuff was crazy, man. So, Ilya ran. They're out looking for him. Of course, they can finish. They're going to do something. Um, you know, got stuff with Weiss. Found out that uh, that her sister is not stationed there anymore in Haven. Or Mistral. So, I don't know who to believe. The bandits or or what. Um, and then she's, she's escaping, and we, we finally heard the Fall Maiden talk. I assume she's the Fall Maiden. Um, it just seems that way. And then, we got shown that Ozpin can take control of Oscar's body. And, uh, and talk very weirdly. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. And we found out that he he has a curse placed on him because he couldn't defeat Salem in the past, and now his his body you know gets reincarnated, which is awesome to finally have that confirmed. And then he's gonna train them, and then Crow is gonna look for a, for more huntsmen. So that's awesome. And he's going to train Ruby in hand-to-hand -hand combat, which is amazing. John might actually get a semblance soon. Who knows? I bet you he's not. And he's going to bring it out in a battle of some sort. Um, and then, you know, Oscar can, can learn to better manipulate his aura or whatever. Uh... But anyways, this was a pretty good episode. Uh, there was a lot of knowledge, not a lot, a lot of nor, lore dropped here. Um, it was really good. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I did. And I'll see you next time.